This champion is absolutely busted. No, not this guy. I'm talking about her. Why? Because she is a single target nuking queen. She's gonna destroy everything. Her kit is amazing. Extra turn mechanics into that A1 is gonna ignore 50% of the enemy defense. It's gonna smack them four times. She can counter so many different defenses with this amazing in live arena great option if you have her on your account let's take a look quickly at the stats that i have on her 6.4k attack 300 crit damage right low in the speed but we're going in with a lot of protection we're going to be going second with this champion these are the current masteries we're running on her these are standard nuker masteries we're not running any empowerment on her we're not running any blessings on her just pure damage so there are going to be some issues with certain teams right you're not going to be able to use her against harima teams big no-no she's not going to be able to kill harima harima's just way too op against demon spawn champions let's actually try this to Ross team and they're going to go first maybe they smack us maybe they don't maybe we can cut in and strip some buffs with the yuko all right we got block buffs up on one champ but we did not get block buffs up on the one champ that mattered, and that was Taraz. We delete Trunda with a counter attack there. Misclick there, I just messed up everything. All right, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to ally attack and get rid of their Siffy. Very close, almost completely one shot the Siffy. All right, we're getting solid mitigation from Necrit. Thank you, Necrit. Let's go ahead and ally attack this Siffy again. Our true crew tracks is gonna go. We're gonna one shot here with the A2. And then we're gonna go ahead and delete this Lydia. And now we just gotta slowly work this to Ross down. Oh, we got increased attack. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Is she gonna nuke him? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, so close. One HP. <laughs> And then obviously he smacks, but we've got an ally attack back and we can go ahead and get rid of him. So she's doing solid damage. That was a pretty strong team. But let's look at another one. This team has a Yuko, a Pythion, a Mortu, and a Mithrala. You don't see a lot of Mortus at the higher end anymore. And, you know, we have to wait on Stone Skin anyway. But that's the luxury of having a, you know, single target nuker. Now this Pythion, he is going to be able to do some damage mitigation on the Yuko and the Mithrala, but nobody else has buffs up. So Pythion should be able to get one shot pretty easily. The Mortu Macabre also should be able to get one shot pretty easily. What we're gonna do is first, we're gonna go into the Mortu just so we don't get block revived anywhere. And we just delete him even with reaction. Not bad at all. Let's A2 here. Get that extra turn and try to take out this Pythion. Actually, no. Let's try to take out the Yuko. Pythion has already burned his revive. So let's try to take out the Yuko. Very close. She does have strengthen and increased defense up. Protect our Yuko. Why not? A1 there. Let's go ahead and knock, out, knock her out. Ally attack the Pythion. Okay, bit of damage there. He's got strengthen up though. And now we're just working this team down. He shouldn't have his revive back yet. And now he has a shield up. Let's try to smack through the shield a bit. It's not doing what we wanted to do. All right, block buffs is up. We get increased attack back. That was with decreased attack as well. So decreased attack, no good on a attack based nuker, but we should be good here. We should be good here to go. Can we one shot him with the A2? Do we even try to? Yes. Yes, we do. 112K. And then, boom. Delete the Mithrala. Easy peasy. So here we have a UDK team. We have ally attack. We also have a multi-hit A1 nuker. Should be good to go. Now, the only issue is, obviously, our Yuko is going to A2. And then, this guy has a chance to peril. But we're not too concerned about the peril. We're going to see if we could put a hurting on this Mithrala because she's probably going to be the most annoying. I'm not too concerned about the Brogni passive. That was really close. We did a decent amount of damage. Even with one of the hits getting, you know, redirected by UDK, still pretty solid. Could have one shot there. 
She doesn't have blessings on, guys. She's not empowered at all. What we're going to do is go ahead and ally attack, get the Mortu up out of there. And all of these hits should go into Mortu. And as you can see, he just gets deleted. Absolutely deleted. And now we're just smooth sailing. I'm going to go ahead and put it on auto. Boom. Delete. Easy. And we're just waiting on Stone Skin to drop off of this UDK. UDK is so annoying. But as you can see, she does a ridiculous amount of damage, especially with increased attack. That's why we're using the Duchess so we can get increased attack in there. One shot with the A1 on B, Brogni, and then one shot ally attack easy on the UDK. Let's look at, you know, this team here. So this team has an Arrow, a Mortu, a Ramantu, and a Arbiter, which could be scary if we get, you know, our block pa we get block our passive skills so duchess is going to be you know the mitigation she gets from aoe's we could get smacked here by the arrow yeah we got it on us and it's okay we get a counter attack and we knock the arrow clean our duchess gets block revived but that just means we have to make this a quick fight so how am i going to go about this the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to get the ramantu out of here because I don't want him to do anything. I can go ahead and one shot this arrow, take the extra turn, get rid of the arbiter. And now it's just, uh, you know, it's just us and Mr. Peril over here. And we do have a revive here. We're going to take the revive from Yuko, get that block damage up as well. And now we just have to wait. Now we just have to wait. And he perils our Yuko, but he's going to be gone here. Easy. Now, that could have gone in a different direction if the AI was smarter and maybe he tried to take out, you know, someone else on the team. But the AI will not succeed. Do we want to hit anybody else on this page? We can hit this team here. Pytheon doing a little bit of mitigation. They have tons of buffs up. This guy is going to have... All right, everybody is resisting this Yuko. What is this Yuko build? They've got ally protection up as well. Let's go ahead and hit the Pytheon. Boom. Very, very, very close to one shot. We can still get the Pytheon out of there, but do I want to burn that right now? Yes, actually, no. Let's go ahead and get the Torment out of there. Boom, Torment is done for. Next, we will take out the Pytheon and we're just smacking through Ally Protect. And Pytheon's getting a ton of heals, but it's gonna be okay. Kutraxa is going to be able to one shot this Torment. Oh, one HP, Are you kidding me? But it's okay, we still got the extra turn here. Let's go ahead and smack Pytheon with the A1. Jeez, man, not the one HP is killing me. Clearly, I didn't build enough damage on her. But it's okay. No blessings, no empowerment. She's still doing a ton of damage. Ideally, you want to just be, you know, deleting your opponent. You want to be done with them. We got to wait on block damage to get off of this Kyoku. But we have decreased attack on this guy. He's not going to do much damage. And we can just, you know, smooth sailings. Go ahead, just wait on block damage, and now it is a easy, you know, easy dub, easy dub. So if you have this champion on your account and you're trying to make some progress anywhere in PvP, live arena, tag arena, classic arena, definitely use this champion. Doesn't matter if this champion gets locked out, you're going to be good to go. The A1 is going to smack for you four times so even against udk teams she's still going to be able to get three hits off and if you bring an ally attack with her whether that be you know necrid you know cardiel anybody so many options you can use a, a fair kin the fat if you even want right bring in ally attack against udk teams all four hits are going to go into your target but amazing champion I really like this champion. Thank you guys for your support as always. And thank you for watching. Be good and be well.